Alright guys, this is Nevin. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to set up your Facebook Pixel on your website. So for those of you who do not know, a Facebook Pixel is essentially just a little piece of code by Facebook that you put on your website. And what it does is, it allows Facebook to know exactly who landed on your website using email address, IP address, etc, etc. Uh, and you've probably seen this before, you know, where you go to a website and then all of a sudden you go to Facebook and you see ads from that website. So it essentially does the same thing, right? Somebody might find your website through a Google ad. They might find you from a business card. Somebody might see a lawn sign go to your website. Uh, maybe you have great SEO and they find your website. But they go to your website and they don't become a lead. Well, what this allows you to do is remarket to those people. Continue showing them new ads. So that, that's one thing. The other thing that it allows you to do is it allows Facebook to get more specific with their actual algorithm targeting. It'll, it'll allow you to target people instead of people who are likely to just likely to click on a link for your ad. Facebook will show your ads to people who are likely to actually go in and, and fill out a lead and become a lead. Uh, and it's extremely complex. I'm not even going to get into that. Uh, but just know that Facebook, Facebook, their algorithm is way smarter than you and I could even imagine. And uh, it'll show ads to people who are more likely to become a lead versus people who are just likely to click a link, go to your website, and, and do whatever. Right. So what you want to do is uh, you're going to install the base code. Then we're going to install some custom conversions, and I'll show you how to do that. It's actually so easy. You don't really need much technical experience to do it. You need basic like entry level like you can't be you know you got to you have some level of, of competency but you don't need to be that you know it, it's not that difficult is what i'm trying to say um so yeah those are the two most important things one it can it can remarket to people anybody who's ever heard that term remarketing that's what that means also uh extremely specific with your targeting um is what facebook allows you to do and then also uh one other thing that's very very useful is is called the look alike audience so let's say over the course of a month you get 500 people to look at your website what facebook will do is it'll it'll create that audience on facebook of 500 people and then you can create a, a look alike audience of that of that audience and the look alike audience are people who are similar to take the same actions as those people live in similar neighborhoods similar incomes similar jobs similar just similar lives overall so that those people are more likely to actually, you know, click on your ad and, and become a lead of yours. So that's kind of an intro. Now let's get into actually how to do it. So basically, you obviously have to have a Google Ads account. This isn't boosting a post. This is much more advanced than just boosting a post and, and hoping and praying. Um, you know, I'm a big believer in if you're marketing, you should never. It should never be on a hope. It should never be on a prayer. It should be more like a science. Um, so first thing you want to do business.facebook.com or just go into Google and type in Facebook business manager should bring you here you have to set some stuff up um, very easy to get here you it's pretty self-explanatory but once you get here right you're looking at your your Facebook business page you can come up here to these these dots up in the corner you're gonna click events manager just give it a second then what you're gonna do you're gonna click this plus button you're gonna click web get started Facebook pixel connect you're gonna name your pixel so this uh, this one I'm doing for my buddy Travis. So uh, we're just gonna go with Travis, and I already created one for him, and then I had the idea um, that I should do this. So keep that in mind. Uh, then you're gonna enter the domain name. I'm gonna click continue. You're gonna install the code manually manually yourself. You're gonna go ahead and copy this code, and then you're gonna click continue. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come to your website editor. Doesn't matter whether you're using Wix. Um, I hate Wix. Obviously, it's terrible, but it doesn't matter what you're using. Um, I use Duda. It's the best website editor ever, uh, in my per personal opinion. Doesn't matter what you're using. Uh, go and find the header HTML. Embed that in your brain. Header HTML, not the body HTML, the header HTML. Now, you can see, like I was saying, I already installed the pixel. Uh, but I'm doing this for the sake of you guys. I'm doing it again. This is a different pixel. So you can copy it. You control V to paste it. You click save. Now that that's saved, you're going to exit out of that. Oh, still saving. Okay. Now you're just going to hit republish. And now that it's republished, this is where it can get a little bit tricky. So stay with me here. You're going to click turn on advanced targeting click continue okay now you want to open the event setup tool 
and you're going to enter that HT or you're going to enter that domain name again. Okay, you're going to open the website. This is where it gets interesting, okay? So as you can see in the top left here, this is the Facebook event setup tool. So what, what we want to do is we want to target people who become leads. We want to create, we want to target people who are likely to go to our website, fill out the form, and become a lead. That's who we want to target. We don't want to target people who click on every link they see. We don't want to target those kinds of people. We want to target people who are in the market to get their house washed and are likely to take action and want to take action immediately. That's who we want to target. So what we're going to do is we're going to click uh, this button or we're going to set, uh, track new button. We're going to select this button and select an event. So basically what this is saying is anytime somebody clicks this button, this send button that you're looking at right here on my screen, that's telling Facebook, oops, that that person has become a lead. Right? And to you, if you close 60% and your average ticket, or let's just say 50% for easy math, and your average ticket is you know, 400 bucks, and you close 50% of every lead that you get from your website, then this value for every person who clicks this button is valued at $200. So you can include value there. I don't normally include value, but you can. It, it just makes it easier in the algorithm when it comes to calculating your actual your numbers, your ROI. So if you invest this much, this is your expected output. So that's what that's for. Then you just click confirm. Okay, you're good to go. And then you can say finish setup. Now you can go through and the beautiful thing about this is, and I'm not going to get into it for the sake of time. Let's say you have a landing page for roof cleaning, a landing page for house washing, and a landing page for gutter cleaning. All right, some guys who are just beginning, they might say, I just want to run it all to one page. I want to have one ad that says, I do all these services. These are all my top services. That's the worst way to possibly market yourself. Uh, because when you're extremely broad like that, you don't speak directly to anyone. What you want to do is you want to have a specific campaign for each of your services uh, because the more specific you are with your targeting, the more likely you are to actually convert those those people into customers or into leads uh, and then into customers, okay? So what I'm getting at is you could go to your page and have one event snippet like I just did here. This is just the broad, most general one. This is the home page. Um, but you could have one of these specific one for roof cleaning on your roof cleaning page. You could have a specific form, uh, one of these specific forms on your house washing page, your gutter cleaning, your window cleaning, your fleet washing, whatever. And, and that way you can create specific audiences of people who, who are looking for different services. Um, and you're going to get a much better return on your investment if you do that. But anyways, we're just going to go ahead and click finish. Yes, we were happy it worked this time. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it doesn't work as well as you like it to. Uh, important changes. This is obviously the new iOS update. It's going to make things a little bit more complex, but that's okay. Not too worried about it. And then uh, you can see here I have two of them. Uh, this is the one I literally just did a few minutes ago. Um, and you can see here, page view, lead. Not interested in that, right? What I want to show you is this one right here. So go to test events. Open the website. Okay. Now I'm going to pull the website over here. So you, this is telling me, okay, page view. So this is telling me the pixel is working. Okay, um, page view at 1247, boom. Uh, okay, so page view, uh, it, that's what it's telling us. Now, this is where uh, the rubber meets the road. We're going to fill out that form on the website. Uh, and if everything's set up correctly, it'll say new lead submission. So let's go ahead and do that. So a user says, okay, I want to get a quote. They come in here, they fill out their information, bada boom, bada bing, they click send. Boom, now they become a lead. Now, what I think is a good idea, instead of just having it do this, redirect them to a thank you page or redirect them to another page where you might be able to you know, pre-sell them. Uh, you know, Maybe send them to a page with a VSL, video sales letter, talking about why your services are this and that and phenomenal, whatever. That's one thing that I think would help. Not totally necessary because at this point they've already become a lead. So that's that would just be about persuading them to actually you know, take action. And boom, there you go. 12.47, uh, 33 seconds in, new lead processed. Okay, so now what Facebook will do is they'll take, they'll create an audience of every single person who views your page. They'll create an audience of them. And then they'll also create an audience of every single person who becomes a lead. So let's say over the course of a month, you get 50 leads through your website. You can target those specific leads. But then what you can also do, which is even more valuable, is create a lookalike audience of every person who has become a lead and show them specific ads because they're going to be more likely to actually become leads, right? It gets very in-depth. It gets very complex. I know a lot of guys think running Facebook ads is just, I'm going to boost a post, and, and that's fine, but that's like tip of the iceberg, entry-level, basic 
Facebook just saying, hey, let's get these suckers to give us some money so we can make more money. Uh, this is how you can really use the tool to its full potential. Um, and then this is really just kind of the tip of the iceberg too. You can go very in-depth with your with your targeting on Facebook and you can do all kinds of uh, amazing things on Facebook as well, uh, which gets me hyped up and pretty excited. So you guys can see here, the lead form is working. I set this up for my buddy Travis. So now anytime he gets a lead and we're, we'll make it even more in-depth, like I said, I'm going to go through and um, add it to, you know, roof cleaning, power washing, house washing, different uh, services so that we can get more specific with the targeting. But this is kind of an entry level, how to set it up, how to get started. Um, and so, yeah, you guys can go ahead and do this for your company and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.